As mentioned earlier, in an unprecedented move today, the main opposition party boycotted the annual budget speech given at the National Assembly by President Yoon. They said it was in protest against what they see as the government trying to suppress the opposition with an investigation into alleged bribery. Our political correspondent Kim Bo-kyung explains. President Yoon suk yeol delivered a speech at National Assembly on Tuesday, but did so with less than half the seats filled. The main opposition Democratic Party, which holds the majority, boycotted the president's budget speech. This is a first in South Korea's constitutional history, although the main opposition once boycotted a budget speech read out by the then prime minister on behalf of the president under a previous administration. Instead, DP lawmakers on Tuesday gathered to protest with pickets that read stop suppressing the opposition party. The decision to do so was made early on Tuesday morning after the DP's general meeting. The People Power Party called it very improper. The Democratic Party of Korea refused to hear President Yoon suk yeols budget speech at National Assembly today. What is urgent right now is not suppressing the previous administration nor the opposition party, but people's livelihoods, the economy, and national security. The main opposition party not attending the budget speech as if it's their privilege and announcing a boycott by making it political is not only improper, but also it is a dereliction of National Assembly's lawful duties and responsibilities. The boycott came after prosecutors raided the DP's headquarters the previous day. As part of an investigation into bribery allegations against Kim Yong, the deputy head of the DP-affiliated Institute for Democracy think tank and a confidant of DP leader Lee Jae-myung. Kim is accused of receiving illegal political funds of around 590,000 U.S. dollars from real estate developers as part of the Daejangdong land development project in Seongnam City, Gyeonggi-do province. The delivery was said to be made last year ahead of the DP's primary election, and prosecutors are seeing whether the funds had been used for Lee's presidential campaign. As the issue is related to the controversial Daejangdong development project that was approved when Lee was Hongnam city mayor, he has instead called for an independent probe. Yet the ruling party is saying that the prosecution's probe is going well, and if Lee has nothing to fear, he has no reason to ask for a special independent probe. As the clash between the ruling and the main opposition party continues, the tug of war is expected to go on regarding reviewing and passing the administration's budget proposal for 2023 as well. Kim Bo-kyung, Arirang News.